Tell us about a company who did not consider this approach before a buyout. There, uh, you know, we can look at this from the perspective of the buyer. We can look at this from the perspective of the seller. Uh, you know, I had a client one time that was asked us to help them uh, buy their company, actually basically find a new owner. There was a company, the CEO of the subsidiary came to us, the current owner was merging, they no longer had the attention, were open to sell it, the management team wanted us to help them find a buyer, pull the company out and, uh, and go forward with, uh, with a new partner. Um, we identified several different uh, parties, one of which offered a package which on the top line appeared to be quite superior in value to all the rest. It, it simply looked like it was way more money. But a small portion of that money was up front. A much larger portion of that was to be paid out over time ba based on performance. We assessed that situation and said, we, we looked at how important was it that you make that transaction? And we said, well, actually, you have alternatives. You, that's, this is not the only transaction. We, we looked at the risk and the reward trade-off and said, when we did some due diligence on the acquiring company and said, they don't have the greatest reputation out there. We looked at how much was up front versus how much was in the, in the back end, and we said, they're not paying you enough up front. But the client was totally focused only on that top line number. And, uh, and insisted on going forwards. Um, they did, uh, that, as was their right. Um, we advised them to go in a different direction. Um, within a year, the top management of the company was out. They did not get paid the majority of the, of the back end payout. Um, they were only looking at, at, at the numbers. They were only looking at the spreadsheet and they weren't looking at the bigger picture. 